And a Spokane man suspected of strangling a woman and then shooting her with a crossbow is claiming more victims, even though he's already behind bars. KXY Force Jeff Humphrey live in the newsroom tonight. And Jeff, today it took four corrections officers to get Cole Strandberg to court. And Dave, KXY4 has learned that it was Cole Strandberg who broke the neck of a corrections officer and triggered a lockdown of the Spokane County Jail last September. He is now considered one of the most dangerous men in custody here, but will not have another chance to hurt someone else. In January, Cole Strandberg allegedly tortured a woman to death with weapons including an arrow used to hunt deer and elk. Strandberg has documented mental health problems and his sanity was evaluated at Eastern State Hospital. However, Strandberg allegedly assaulted the second psychologist who visited him inside the Spokane County Jail. And last month, as Strandberg was called to court, he attacked corrections deputy Daniel Leonetti. When the, the correction deputy uh, went through the, the door to uh, make contact with him, he ran at the correction deputy, and the correction deputy had a shield, uh, made impact with the, the shield. The deputy went to the ground, hit his head on, on a table, and uh, fractured one of the, the bones in his neck. Because of Leonetti's injuries and his risk to other inmates, Strandberg is now constantly locked alone inside his jail cell. Today, four officers led him to another court hearing. All of the men dressed in riot gear, similar to what the tactical team wears, the critical response group never took their hands off the defendant. They will escort uh, this individual to the showers. They'll escort him everywhere he has to go because normally it would be handcuffs and, and they'd take him and, and, and let those things happen. But uh, this individual has become so violent that we can only control him with uh, several people. And Strandberg has delayed his trial even further by firing his public defender. He has already said that he wants to be convicted, he wants to be sent to prison, but the judge in this case has to make sure that Strandberg's rights are protected and these new security, security precautions are only going to slow down that process. Reporting in the newsroom, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.